John must be very happy with that, um, playing with 10 men um, and coming away with a 3-0 win at home. Yeah, really pleased. Um, you know, um, I think the sending off was a little bit harsh. Um, the first boy, 20, 30 minutes, we didn't really get going. Um, but the lads, lads stuck together and then obviously the sending off was a bit, you know, uh, unfair in my opinion. Hopefully we've got the uh, video footage so we can have a look at it and if, it, if, if it's right and it's not sending off, we can try and, um, you know, get it overturned but um, yeah that was a bit of a killer but we got the boys in at half time we had a good chat about keeping our shape playing 4-4-1 Every, everybody you know working extra hard to try and um, you know keep them from scoring and um, try and sneak sneak a goal on the break but it worked even better because we, we did it three times the boys were absolutely superb you know from Whitton goal who made two or three incredible saves to keep us in the game to um, the rest of the outfield players you know um, Great work ethic, you know, fighting for each other. But you know, on the counter attack, we played some really good stuff, and we probably deserved to win the game three 0 in the end. Yeah, and obviously uh, second half, um, we, we dug really deep, really deep, and uh, obviously we scored three goals um, with with a you know playing against eleven men. Yeah, superb effort from the boys. You know, um, I told them a few stories about when I played for uh, Middlesbrough against Sunderland up there, and we played eighty five minutes with um, ten men, and we won the game one nil and uh, against Newcastle as well so um, I think I might have inspired them a little bit but um, I'm not going to take credit for that they did all the hard work and we just told them how, how they could win the game and they all um, delivered you know they listened to what we said and um, you know um, we were hard to beat we were compact you know recovery runs were brilliant uh, people were putting their head on the line and uh, blocking shots and um, yeah I think I don't think their penalty was a penalty I think you know it was absolute horrendous decision by the ref but you give it and then Wits makes a great save and then I think it was Will who got the blocking right on the line so um, you know players fighting for each other and it's it, you know it goes back to probably the first five games of the season we're back at it now and uh, you know I talked about in previous interviews about you know you have to be at it every single game especially in this league and you know we've had two games two clean sheets and uh, six points so we just need to keep driving that on and Jake Day um, first goal for the club since his return how was he feeling after that? Yeah, he's absolutely buzzing. Really pleased for him. Obviously, it's it's nice for a striker to get off the mark, and you know he's been putting a real good shift in. Um, today he was super because obviously Cart's got sent off, so he was doing all the hard work on his own up front. But you know, second half, you know, occupying defenders, you know, um, running in behind, and when the ball landed to him today, and he struck it in with his left foot, and it hit the post and went in. You know, everyone was delighted for him. I think you know the celebrations speaks a thousand words. John, I think you've sent everyone home very happy tonight. Good, that's what I'm trying to do every single week, so uh, you know, hopefully we can have more of them. Yeah, cheers, John, thank you very much. Cheers,